Hi there, I'm John Bond from Riverwinds Consulting and this is Publishing Defined. Today I'm going to look at 11 startups in publishing. Publishing is changing rapidly and most of the innovation will likely come from startups and not from the large publicly held companies unless they buy a startup. Startups are challenging to define sometimes. Also, because of the more conservative nature of some of the parts of scholarly publishing and the slowness to adopt new models, I'll stray into trade publishing sometimes since their successes will inevitably affect scholarly publishing long term. The focus of many of the changes in scholarly publishing center on the open science or open access movement. In trade, self-publishing has led to many changes and to some of the same freedoms provided by open access. The startups that are making noise are concentrated in the areas of software solutions, creating communities or social networks, finding new distribution models, utilizing interactive or game-based approaches, and crowdsourcing and or open sourcing. Here's a random look at 11 startups changing publishing. Scholastica was founded in response to a growing need in academia for a faster and more efficient way to peer review and publish scholarly journals. Scholastica gives editors the tools they need to easily manage and publish advanced peer-reviewed journals at more affordable cost. They are making research available to a wide audience and actively cultivating a platform and a community around open access publishing. PeerJ is an open access peer-reviewed scientific mega journal con covering research in the biological and medical sciences. They aim to drive the cost of publishing down for the academic community while improving the overall publishing experience and providing authors with a publication venue for the 21st century. The Winnower is an open access online scholarly publishing platform that employs open post-publication peer review. They believe in transparency from start to finish in scientific communication. Their publishing platform and journal offers traditional scholarly publishing tools such as DOIs, permanent archiving, altmetrics, PDF creation, and more, all in the effort to enable discussion of topics across all areas of intellectual inquiry, whether in the sciences, humanities, or other areas. Scholargram is an open and free academic publishing platform for publishing and turning scholarly works, including thesis, dissertations, research papers, project reports, conference proceedings, and journals into print and eBooks. Knowledge Unlatched is working with libraries and publishers to create a sustainable route to open access for scholarly books and to secure long-term cost savings for their own institutions by sharing the cost of making humanities and social science monographs available on a Creative Commons license. They believe libraries can help to ensure that good books and journals continue to be published and that the core outputs of the humanities and social sciences are not, not left behind in the shift to open access. The Collaborative Knowledge Foundation is building open source solutions in scholarly knowledge production that foster collaboration, integrity, and speed. The modularity will offer solutions that improve the speed, transparency, and reproducibility of more traditional journal and book publishing. They offer PubSuite, which uses digital first workflows, networking, and offering opportunities for researchers to share and collaborate as they formulate research results. Slicebooks is a publishing platform that helps publishers repurpose content and build direct-to-consumer sales channels. Slicebooks includes a content management system, an iTunes-style retail platform, and mobile apps. BookBub is a free service that helps readers discover deals on eBooks while providing publishers and authors with a way to drive sales and find new customers. Members receive a personalized daily email alerting them to the best free and discounted titles matching their interest. BookBub works with all major ebook retailers and devices. BookTrack offers a new content creation and distribution platform that turns reading into a movie-like experience. BookTrack's technology lets anyone add a synchronized movie-style soundtrack to an ebook and other digital content with an audio paced to each individual's reading speed. BookSprint is a collaborative process where a book is produced from the ground up in just five days. This collaborative process captures the knowledge of a group of subject matter experts in a manner that would be challenging using traditional methods. 
The result at the end of the book sprint is a finished book in digital and print ready formats ready for distribution. Flat World is working to deliver textbooks that meet the standards of mainstream publishers at a reduced cost. They are working to put educators and students in control of course material. FYI, I put links to all these companies in the notes below. I suggest you dive deeper into these startups. These companies all vary from early stage working with seed money to series A, B, and C rounds of funding through to being acquired and eventually going public. I'd love you to email me or comment below about early stage startups that you know about or ones that I've missed. A final note in regard to startups is about an effort by Ingram, the large multifaceted book distributor and publishing services company. They've worked with and sponsored an incubator called 1440 Innovation. It is a collaboration with the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. An incubator helps new and startup companies to develop by providing services such as management training or office or funding. 1440 Innovation is a 14-week publishing course. Their goal is to foster publishing innovation but for creating, distributing, or consuming print or electronic book contact, content. 1440 Accelerator wants early stage startups using technology to help the publishing world connect more readers with books that will change their lives. Hats off to them and let's hope more of these type efforts can help foster the inevitable coming changes in scholarly publishing today. Well, that's it. Hit the like button below if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or click on the playlist to see more videos about publishing startups and make comments below or email me with any questions. Thanks so much and take care.